Ouch! Crash landing. Welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends, episode 51, people. We've just defeated the Blue Gigas, and Kangen ain't going nowhere. Man, Daigo is pissed. And the Armada is retreating. Like a little bitch. Looks like Daigo is forgiven. <laughs> One way of solving your problems. So, once this knowledge is applied, we can go above and below the clouds. Oh, Enrique will take good care of her. Yeah, yeah, we kind of do have to remind you all the time about that. Yes. The Book of Polarity. And now we have a new delegate. And now the Delphinus is back in our hands. We have some matters to attend to of the, sh of the ship. We have some captain stripes to apply to it. So that has 50,000 HP. Let's see. Yes. I'll leave it with as leave it as it is. We don't have anything to do in the shops here, really. We've pretty much done everything. So... Now, we are best, best to be on our way home. We 
do have some crew members to pick up. Ah, huh, I heard some ducks. There's some fish jumping out of the water. New ducks, though. Definitely a good time to save, I think. Let's return to the Delphinus. Now, I don't think we have the ability to go above and below the clouds just yet. Yeah. Yeah, up until now everyone thought the world was flat. We mean no one's ever proven this. Literally, Belazer just proved this by going west from Ixataka. This is not our discovery. Of course, if that's if our claims are true. Not quite going east just yet. First of all, we need to head up not to Tenku Island. We need to head north quite a bit. Because we need to get to Ryu Kan's island. Do we have Vice the Daring? Excellent. We need to be Vice the Daring to uh, for Ryu Kan to join our crew. the design of this ship. It's a pity the back of it's so square. Yeah, it feels like they kind of didn't have much to do there. Would have liked it to have been a bit tapered. Still a really nice ship though. Right. Let's put what we've learned to good use. I think I remember these guys casting attorneys. Oh, wow, nice. And we are now considerably stronger, so. Bye, go looper. Do something. Go. Ah, counter would have been nice. Oh, now you're poisoned. Lovely. Grandia 2 again recently and it took me a few turns to remember that um, poison doesn't clear off after battle like it does in this. I was running around with poison characters for quite a bit. Good call on using Delta Shield there, if I may say so myself. You ruined your chance of getting away. Is it over already? <sighs> Magic. I think for too much we're at the stage now where really we just have to hit everything. Just go with whatever's currently unknown.
Oh, we're drifting. Does of course mean we'll have to come back south as well. Oh, it's about to check the map there. So we're not going anywhere. Kind or something. Over there. Also, the battle system in Grandia 2 kind of discourages using special moves in normal battles and saving it all for, you know, boss battles. Just the way the um, points or uh, special points and magic points are just are organized. You don't have a, uh, a bar that goes up all the time. You have a, a mana and special pool for each character to use. It's more of a typical RPG style. It's nice being able to just lash out with special moves whenever you want. Okay, we're nearly there. Don't worry, folks. Got a bear a little bit west to make up for the fact that it took us in the wrong direction a moment ago. Through the sky rift. Moving around will become so much easier when we can go above and below the clouds. It's easy to get into bad habit though. It's easy to get into the habit of not, uh, oh, a whole load of these guys. It's easy to get into the habit of not, um, not taking on enemies because you fly low, or fly low or fly high. There's no enemies above and below the prize. Nice, nice crit. So, I mean, that's one trap to not fall into. Just possibly end up with some quite uh, weaker characters down the line. I only tend to use it whenever I know I want to get somewhere to do something non-story related. My god, all these guys are running away. Except for this guy. I can't remember if he had magic, so I'll just keep using this. Yeah, you know, like if I decide to go on a crew pickup run or something like that, then I'll usually fly above and below the clouds instead of um, staying at mid mid altitude. But if I'm doing something story related, I'll usually stay at mid altitude to make sure I get as many fights as I can in between block points. Like the game obviously intends. Okay, Ike is pretty close to learning some new silver magic. A few more fights. Okay, that's not really can island. Oop, some fish. Go. Come on, where you can. Should be. Out here somewhere. <laughs> as soon as I got moving again. Not really great with the draw distance. That's the GameCube. Oh, hello. Well. Let's just use Delta Shield here. And Rain of Swords, everyone. Didn't realize we're taking them by surprise. Really hard to tell when you've taken these guys by surprise. 
you know, what with them all looking in the same direction. Very easy indeed. Uh, no, that's not Ryukanda Island. Maybe that was Ryukanda Island. Must be. Oh, there it is. How did we fly past it without even seeing it? Having Ryukan also in your crew as an artisan is necessary to get Vice's ultimate weapon. He's the only artisan we have. Leave your house behind where you can. So we head. Oh, come on. <laughs> so we head back south through this sky rift. Hmm. That seems like a good way of doing it. south of the sky rift and then we head right. Right? East. We did it. Hey, Fina leveled up. She's still lagging behind. I think I need to head south a little bit because I need to go east of Yafutoma because that'll be where east of Yafutoma is where the break in the um, not the rift the stone reef the ice reef is a very desolate world isn't it not a lot going on in some of these places You can cut the Fury one of them. Fina and Ryuke can take on the other guy. Nicely done, Enrique. Nicely done. Hey, Aika has now learned another rank of Silver Magic. Okay, how far are we to Yafutuma? Whoa! We have... Mm. Gone a little too far east. Yeah, we just sort of keep heading this way. My navigation skills leave a lot to be desired, don't they?
Come on. Oh, these guys. I never remember if these guys use magic or not. Oh, they run. Lovely. Please don't all flee. And these guys give you a thousand gold for every single one you kill. I was just going to rain of swords them, but never mind. Looks like the walls of Yafituma. Yes. Okay. So now we want to head east. I probably didn't need to bear back west. That's from the next show near Yafituma. Come on. Not that I'm not grateful for all the experience, you know. Ah, excellent. Put it to sleep. Didn't realize Enrique's weapon had a chance to do that. Fina will wake it up just in time to kill it. No point in having them attack, they'll never hit a looper. Hoping this other guy doesn't run. No, oh, it's using magic. Ever been established by anyone what that actually does? <laughs> that was easy. Anyone close to learning anything? Yeah, I could, could learn some red magic. She's also learning blue and purple quite quickly. Let's uh, let's leave it as we are. Okay. Here's the ice reef. See anything that looks like a big hole in it? I sure as hell can't. Okay, I think we need to head south a little bit. Because we need to make sure that we're actually heading to Ixataka. As soon as you hear my eyes rolling back around my sockets. And I like the experience, don't get me wrong. It's just the constant interruptions. So you think about having the loopers in there. You can tell what, what direction they're facing. So you know when you've got the drop on someone, that's a nice quick fight. Should send someone out to just permanently be on the good. Come on. Gotta be a hole in here somewhere. 
That looks like it could be it. Yes. Well, what do you know? Another fight. <laughs> what do you know? Belize was telling the truth about something for once. Once again, another set of enemies we've got to drop on. Really, it's not even the looper that's running this time. Yeah, man. Yep. That was easy. Well, whilst we're here, let's pay a visit to Hans. He's in Hoteka. Should be at least. Got to bear in mind. Got to remember that that's up there. Can't get to it yet. Is it me, or has it just gotten really foggy of late in a lot of these areas? I think he was up here. Yes. Oh, I thought he was. I thought his stint here was done. Yes, um... Okay. Well, I thought I, was, I should have been able to recruit hands then, but apparently not. But we'll figure that out next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends. Thanks very much for watching, folks. See you next time.